can't say hi to anybody until my computer screen catches up. Any day now. There we go. Huh. Can't say hi to anybody oh, until and I, I oh, Tish, if you're listening, I did it again. I left the volume on. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Huh. Uh, sorry about that, y'all. I did not mean to leave my volume on again. Well, hello, Cheryl, and hello, Sally. I am going to attempt. There is more than three ways to do, um, oops, I don't know if this is facing me right or not. Um, there is more than, um, well, hello, Regina. Um, there is more than three ways to do cells, but I'm going to show you the three that I like to do. Well, two I do, and one I've seen, but I've never tried, so fingers crossed it turns out. So, uh, hello, Megan. Nice to see you. So, we're going to see. Um, first off, while I'm mixing the resin, first I'm going to say, if you're new here, welcome. Say hi in the chat. Everybody else will say hi back. Very friendly bunch here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, don't forget to hit the little bell for the notifications. And y'all, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. You know, smash that thumbs up button if you like this video. And I don't know if Tish is going to be here because she's off with her man so guess what Cheryl haha <laughs> let me let me uh, let me put the cap on this real quick I'm gonna do something Cheryl because I don't see any moderators here yet so let me come over here hello Gina Bina and hello Julia and hello Ashley okay let me see if I can do this uh, Oh, I can't do it from that one. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, there we go. There you go, Cheryl. You are now a moderator, because I have no other moderators here tonight. But, you know what? That's okay. That's okay, because everybody's got their own life. Um... So, um, don't forget to smash the thumbs up. Don't forget to, um... Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and say hi in the chat. Everybody will welcome you with open arms. There she is. And hello, Mike. And hello, Trey. Look at this. Yeah, well, that's okay. That's okay. Oh. <laughs> Story of your life, Tish. Sorry can't help but pick on you about that um and for those of you watching the replay thanks for watching and don't forget there's many ways you can support the channel liking sharing commenting you know share it out on the interwebs let me see, I know I said, did I say, I don't know if I said hi to Gina, so, hi Gina. Um, I mixed 10 ounces for these three, because I'm going to be doing two different whites. One of the, one of the whites is going to be the Rust-Oleum. I love using this the, uh, gloss white to get cells, but I'm also going to mix some Casting Craft because um, I'm going to get cells with the casting craft and uh, a torch and tilt and the other one's going to be the casting craft with some clear so that's going to be unusual I haven't tried that yet but I'm going to try it now Cheryl you're here almost every time so I'll, I'll just leave you up as a moderator 
And how is Tish doing in Southern Illinois? Are you having fun? I know you are. I know you are. So I hope everybody's staying cool. And staying staying indoors with AC if it's too hot. <laughs> it's effing hot. Isn't it effing hot in Minnesota too, honey? So you just trade one hot spot for another. I didn't see what you had said, Megan, but sorry. My chat's rolling by pretty fast. The, the first five minutes, for those of you that are new here, the first five minutes, everybody gets their hellos out. So put, say hi in the chat, and I bet you 10 to 1, you'll get eight people that'll say hi back. Because, um, oh, you got AC there, though. Good. Oh, where do I get my boards? Okay, there is a link down below in the description. These boards are off of um, Amazon. I had seen Karen at Waterfall Acrylics use them with acrylic paints, and she didn't pr she didn't prime them first, and she should have because they warped. But acrylic paint is more um, more um um. Um, uh, wet than resin, it can warp it because it takes it take you know the moisture from the paint gets in the flow troll gets into the uh, boards and can warp it. Let me finish mixing this and I'm gonna show you the backs. I mean I've got the backs taped off. Um, and there's one thing I don't like about it, and I'll show you this too, but it may not be that big a deal on these. Okay, that looks mixed. Let me put my little resin over there. Okay, they come as a set of three for, I think, $20. Don't quote me on that. you got to click the link. Okay, I taped off the back. They've got, they've got um, a little um, cradle here, so you can hang it any way you want. Now, the one thing I'm not happy about, I don't know if you can see this or not, but... They, this thing didn't quite reach all the way over here, but I don't know if that's going to make that big a deal on the board. Um, this one, this one has it on this side, and I forgot to put, oh, uh, hello, Elisa. I forgot to put the sizes down below, but when you click on the link, it'll show you the sizes. I think they're five right roughly five seven and nine or ten don't quote me on that either um and i just primed them with some um with some um 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 kills uh, uh spray well first i was spray painting them and then i um then i um realized i wasn't getting the edges very well Oh, rule of thumb, when you're doing powders or micas, put it in first so you can put your resin on top so you do not have the problem of, what do we call them? Unicorn farts. Because if a unicorn could fart, it would be all colorful like the mica coming out of the cup when, you st when, when it's on top and you stir too fast. And I've already got my glove all messy. Because uh, I'm going to be working. I should have waited on that until I got the whites going. Oh, well. Okay. This is going to be my base coat on two of them. Because this is going to be a torch and tilt. And this is going to be a swipe. And this is going to be where the white's on top. But when I put the colors out, the clears, then I'm going to put some clear down. Then I'm going to put some white on top of that, and you'll see what it does. Ah, there we go. Thank you. Yes, there's a link down below. They're very reasonable. I will admit that. 
um, but please don't make the mistake that um, Karen unfortunately made. Prep them. Okay, uh, I shook this up a little bit. Um, I don't need a whole lot of the white because it's going to go between the two. Well, you know what? I'm not. I don't have to do the white base on this. I can do a clear base. I can do the Rust-Oleum white here, and the Cast and Craft will go on top of the colors over here. So, okay, there we go. So now I got my white. You do not need very much of this. And if you can't get it opaque enough, you can always add another thing like casting craft to it. This has got this is oil base, and it's something with the oil. It doesn't leave pits, but it um, oop, I made a mess there. Oh, let me just throw that stick away. Um, gotta get my hammer off the floor. Big hammer now. Thank you, Tish. Okay, um, I don't think I'm going to need to add. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Well, you know, it doesn't have to be that opaque because the background's white, too. It's still pretty opaque. Okay. I want to remember which white is which, so I'm going to put that one over there. Okay, I'm also using two of my favorite colors from Color Obsession. The picture, these are not clean containers. One is a coral orange and one is a, a dark turquoise. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I should put resin in there first. Put a little bit in here. Because I'm only doing just a little bit of gold on each one. Oh, stupid me. I had my stick in there. So now i got to get a new stick just to get the dark turquoise out. Oh, hello, Kathy. I got your um, I got your suggestion about the toothbrush. Thank you. Oh, this is no, this isn't the dark turquoise. This is the coral orange. But oh well. Uh, let's see who else is here. If I missed anybody, hi. <laughs> I don't want to miss anybody. And I'm curious. I, I want to start getting back to doing more acrylic pouring. Um, how would you guys like it um, if, um, if I did a live on Sundays doing, um, doing a couple hours of nothing but acrylic pouring? Because um, I want to start practicing my... Um, I want to start practicing my bloom pours with the uh, primary elements because I was gifted some of that. Okay, there we go. There's my turquoise. This is going to be my white for this for the uh, that goes on top of the big one. And I oh, I got too much clear left. Ha <laughs> ha. And let's see which Kim is here. Well, hello, Kim. How are you, honey? I have to work it around the uh, work it around the NASCAR schedule because I do still sit and watch. Oh, Brookie's here. I didn't see Brookie. Oh, uh, I'm reading Regina's last name and I thought it said Brooke. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I am not quite with it tonight, am I? Okay, let's see here. Okay, this is the white that's going to go on top last.
of the big one. So let me put this white over here. This is the Mayron Gold, which is going to be added to all of them. Well, Elisa, I, I may need to add some, I don't know, to these colors. Okay, this is the Mayron Gold. I love this stuff. I absolutely love it. It's it's a it's a metallic, um, but it's it's called Mayron Gold. But it looks more um, bronze to me, really, or almost even brass. Oh, that's right. I didn't think of that. I gotta uh, schedule it around um, Fiona too. This is the dark turquoise. And I know one person in the chat is going to absolutely love this color combination tonight because it's turquoise, gold, and uh, the coral orange on a, um, on white. And I think that's her favorite colors. Yeah, I'd have, I'd have to go back to her channel um, to see... Okay, here we go. And I think I'm going to have to mix some more of this. Well, this one's going to go last because this one's going to have that. These two, this one's going to get the, uh, I'll, I'll do the white base on both of them. I will do the white base on both of them. And then just, I'll probably have to mix up some more colors. Well, Elisa, I... I don't like silver with these. These these two colors together on the white remind me of Southwest colors, which is why I put the gold in there. Okay, now let me see if I got enough left for this. This one's going to be a torch and tilt, and this one's going to be a swipe. And I got my swipey papers over there. Looks like I got everything out of there. Yep, empty, good. Waste not, want not. Okay, now I am one of those, I love to play in my resin with my fingers. So I'm cleaning off any pigment I may have on there. And I just spread my resin around my fingers. Gets me closer to my painting. You know, makes me feel like one with the, with the artwork. I love finger painting too. And I'm just spreading it around to get full coverage. And then I'm going to hit it with a torch for the bubbles. And I'm praying I can do all three of these before Tish goes live. And if I can't, then everybody go over and watch Tish, and I'll just finish <laughs> by myself. <laughs> uh, uh, Tish, if you've got your link handy, can you put your link in there for Tish Talk? I don't know. I don't know if, you, if you've already put it up or not. Okay. Oh, got a little bare spot right there. Got to kind of sometimes look at it sideways to make sure that you don't, um, that you, um, um, don't have a bare spot, um, not covered in resin. Okay, I'm going to pop the bubbles. Okay, this one's going to be the swipey. So, thank you, Tish. I'm trying my hardest to get it done. Okay, um, I think I'm just going to do swooshes. Okay. 
okay and this one I was gonna do I'm gonna do a straight line down the middle and I'm gonna try to torch it and tilt it that tilt the orange that way and tilt the turquoise the other way and hopefully the gold will go with it okay okay here we go now and now I'm gonna put oh put my resin over here okay now I'm gonna put a little bit of gold on that I may need to gold is the one that I may run out with okay okay there we go okay now I gotta stand up for this okay you heat oops dry spot that's what he said I need I need, I need um um Tish's um um noisemakers here well hello to the other Kim it's nice to see it's nice to see all the Kims here tonight okay you want to heat it up and you also want to make sure you heat up the the um, resin past it. Okay. Now, you don't want to put more than a finger width of the paper in. Okay. Let me. Yeah, it's still on camera. I will try not to block it. Um. Here, let me do it this way first. You want to get 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 the whole paper in there about a finger width don't push down too hard or you'll drag all the color right off of the white ah that isn't what I wanted to do at the end but oh well Oh, you poor thing, Elisa. You want to slowly drag it, as Tish says, one watermelon, two watermelon, three watermelon. Well, hello, Sweet Pea. I'm going to say Sweet Pea since we got two Reginas in here tonight. Okay, let me see. I wipe it off to get rid of the uh, colors on there, but you can always um, switch to the other side. Come on, give me some cells, guys. Here I am doing a video about cells, and it won't sell up. Ha! Huh. Isn't that the story of my life? I see some baby cells right there. Okay. Let me get rid of that piece. I want to do I'm going to do this one right here. Although I'm going to do just the corner to make it a small one. There we go. Okay, now let's see if I've got Oh, I do see cells. Ha! Ah, I see cells.
Okay, so has there been any questions? Although I think I got enough resin artists in here that if you have a question about what I did, they might. If I didn't see your question, they. I'm sure the rest of them are very, very knowledgeable. Okay. Let me bring this one up. I got baby cells. They might grow as I'm working on the other ones. Okay, there's one. That's one technique that I'd like to do. Here's my favorite technique of all. Haha. <laughs> it is the torch and tilt. Let me get the cup out of the way so I don't drip on it. You heat it up. You heat up the, the resin that it's going to go over. And then you basically give it shots of um, of heat to make it run, and then it gets then it gets a little um, little liquidy. Okay, now I'm going to turn it the other way. You don't want to do it for too long because you could A, scorch the resin. You'll know you scorched it when you start seeing little yellow scabbies or even brown scabbies. It can catch on fire and you can get a flame that comes up. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to keep the orange on one side and uh, turquoise on the other. Well, coral orange. Okay. Let me let this one sit. And already you can see, look at this, look at this. They sealed up bigger. Ah, I love it. I love it. Okay. Third and last method. I don't know if I have enough to cover this whole thing or not. I'm going to put down the three colors as my base. Hi, Dina. Thank you, Kim. So you get, I got more cells right there than I did over here. Um... But it's, I think the cells happen when, you t when you've torched them and then you tilt it. That's why it's called torch and tilt. Okay. Okay, that cup's empty. But I'll save it just in case I need to mix more. I don't know yet. Ah. Okay. I am so glad that Mike is here watching. I'm waiting for Mike to, to tell me when I can come on Creator Spotlight. Because I really, really, really want to go on that. Let me, let me scrape out the rest, see if I have enough. See, I don't need to put any white down with this because hopefully I have enough here. Ah, messy fingers. Thank you so much, Julia. Yeah! Where's Hey Look Squirrel? <laughs> I love that name. That is the cutest name. If y'all haven't checked out his channel yet, Creator Spotlight. Check him out. He shows all different kinds of creators over there. Okay, I'm, I'm just basically getting this up to the edge. Now, 
then I'm going to be doing some tilting just to, to get the to get it to merge together I guess you could say or to marry that's what Heather says he's up a tree <laughs> oh that's great okay let me see now if I can do some tilting if I have enough resin to get these colors to move and go together I'm gonna pull a Jeff and do a super tilt come on come on fill in the little holes guess I should put a little bit of gold in there huh oh um he can't do that he can't do that but um Cheryl if you wanna if you can open up another window and go get his real quick um He, no, he's he, uh, only moderators can do links. Okay, let me fill in this little bald spot right here. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Cheryl. Yes, I'm all about supporting the other channels, Mike. And Cheryl can put the link up. Because, obviously, YouTube did away with the thing where you can click on somebody's name and go to their channel. I used to do that when I was in chats. Okay. Up. Oh. I'm wearing an apron, but it's not all the way over my um, leg, and I just got it on on my uh, leg. Let's see, yeah, there it is, right there. Okay. Well, I've still got plenty of time. I don't know if Elisa's still awake. I am going to have to break out the heat gun. To move the resin around. Heat gun, heat gun, where are you? Okay. My little rule of thumb with your heat gun is you turn it on for five seconds pointing away from the piece to blow out those little dust boogers and that way they don't go in your resin okay let me get rid of my cups because I don't want them to blow over There we go. There we go. Now it's moving. This isn't how I'm getting the cells though. Well, it's not really cells with the other trick. It's more lacing than anything. But I love what it does. A couple of different artists I've seen do that. I think um 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 Janet at uh, Moon Custer Art, and I've seen uh, Sherry Vegas do it. Come on. There we go. Okay. Let me do a little bit more tilting. <laughs> I 
I just want to make sure I don't blow dust out of it onto my um woo, now this stuff is really really runny and I got a lot of that Mayron gold and that Mayron gold will take over okay before I put the clear on let me just go around and smooth out my drips so it doesn't look like drips okay see I'm not happy with that lip over here let me see if I can get some more of that to run over there we go but you know I'll tell you something these came in a gray poly bag from an Amazon warehouse so I don't think even Amazon could look at it and tell me if it's um if it's um okay or not eh messy gloves okay now I'm gonna show you the little trick with this okay you put some clear down put a little bit over here too then you put your white on top of it and I don't know why it does it but it it makes lacing and cells I wanted a wider path over here Okay, don't fail me now. Do not fail me now. I'm going to hit it a little bit. Thank you, Tish. I'm going to hit it with just a little bit of heat. wrong way I can see that it's trying to go off the edge over there see I had never done this before I've seen it done but I've never done it before so let me let me see if a little bit more clear helps it I don't know if that's going to help it any, ha! but can't hurt, right? Uh, now I should never do a brand new technique for the first time on a live. Okay. This was a total failure. It's not doing it's not doing it like it did for Sherry Vega or Vegas. So, oh well. So let me try to wake it up some. So it's not solid. Oh well. I tried. trying to push it over to the edge. So I think the white looks better over there. Okay. What I'm trying to do, Elisa, is I've seen Moon Custer do it before and I've seen uh, Sherry Vegas do it. 
um, you put the clear down and then you put the white and it usually spreads but it didn't spread so I got like a Milky Way over the edge that's okay I still like it I didn't get my cells oh well I got my cells over here let me um let me look at this one I wanted a few more cells and see once your resin has set up uh, two out of three ain't bad yep yep um, when your resin sets up after it gets a little cold you can go back in and heat up certain parts if I can get a hold of this with my sticky hand See, I'm only heating up the orange. And I want to try to, well, yeah, I want to try to get some wispies right here. Come on. Okay, this one, oh, quit dripping. Um, <laughs> this one gave me some really pretty cells right there. And this one I am so happy with. Look at those cells. This one, oh, hi, Elizabeth. This one, eh. I'm not so happy with it. looks more like a little bit of a Milky Way around the edge if you look at it. Oh well. Gave it a nice thing on the edge. Um, so anyway, um, I tried. I tried. We have got, um, I don't know if Tish is still here or not, but, um, oh, there she is. Um, we have got um, 18 minutes until Tish is live. So I want to tell you guys I want to, that I thank you all for coming out to watch me tonight. You all are awesome. Okay. This one I really love even though I, I only got the cells over here. Um, you guys are really, really awesome. Um, and I will, I'm, I'm, I'm debating about it, about going live on Sunday for a little bit. I got to look at other people's schedules. Um, I'm trying to smooth out the color, but I probably have to paint over it because I don't want color on the sides of these. I know, I know, I should have taped them, but I didn't think of that. This one, I want to keep the color around the edge, but you still have to go underneath and do this so smash that like button if you like this video okay subscribe if you haven't click the little bell for the notifications um, I do have a couple of ways you can support the channel which Tish just put up in the chat thank you Tish um, and there's other ways to support me too and you're doing it right now by watching so thank you thank you thank you so i'm gonna let <laughs> well i'm sorry to let tater and zoe take their naps by themselves um so I'm going to thank you all for coming out. Um, I will try to be there as soon as I can to your live, Tish. I still got a bunch of resin over here that I'm debating what I'm going to do with it. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to let you guys go. Let's all head over to um, Tish's. And I will see you, if not Sunday, I will see you guys next Tuesday. And all I can say is, I love the resin right out of you guys. Thank you for coming and watching me do two, two good ones. 
and one fail. Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, man. I may have to put a little bit of white over it. <laughs> um, there we go. There's my white. Um, so... Uh, there we go. There we go. I got it covered up. So you can cover up boo-boos and resin. So let's all head over to Tish's. I will be there as quick as I can. And you guys have an awesome evening. Thank you for coming out. Thank you to my moderators. Thank you very much, Mike. Th thank you all. I will see you guys either Sunday or next Tuesday. Bye for now.